Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second half of November, so the 15th to the 30th. We're just going to see what comes up for Aries. What do we got for Aries for the second half of November? One more card, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? What do we have for Aries? Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Box, you will receive a gift. Flowers, happiness, maybe you're going to get some flowers. Whatever it is, you're going to be receiving a gift probably from this friend. It looks like you got a friend that is thinking of you. Maybe you're going to receive a gift from somebody else, but whatever is happening looks good. Okay, we got happiness. We got a gift. We got somebody thinking of you. I mean, that's great. So what do we have for Aries? Ooh, need to defend yourself. Feeling some opposition. You may be you may have some competition, you know, these next two weeks. You may be feeling a little overwhelmed, like you need to defend yourself. Defensive. You need to stand your ground. You may have to really, you know, stand up for yourself in some way. You're probably gonna be dealing with some sort of challenge. Um, this card signifies don't give up don't give up. I feel like you're in a very tough, tough, tough position. You may feel overwhelmed by the position that you're in. You may have a lot of responsibilities or a lot of people are asking you questions or expecting a lot from you. Uh, you may ha be having to push people away or tell people no. Wow! A lot of competition here. Extreme competition with both of these cards. Very competitive. So, you are definitely up against some sort of opposition. Okay? Um, a lot of tension. There's a lot of tension around you. Tense situation, perhaps. You know, when you get this Five of Wands reversed, it feels like this could be some sort of full-scale battle right next to this Seven of Wands. You're probably going to be fighting with somebody. I'm just, I mean, I hate to tell you that, but it looks, that's what it looks like. It may start off like that, but this could, it could be a battle that is coming to an end. Stand your ground. Don't give up. Okay, you may need to really, you know state your case and don't let anybody walk all over you you're obviously there's a lot of people around you there's a lot of people around you that uh, maybe playing games highly competitive something like that chariot moving moving in a new direction finding the discipline and the willpower and the determination to take the reins take charge of a situation taking a journey some of you may be taking a journey traveling uh, you could be leaving behind a battle, leaving behind a fight. Maybe you're deciding to go. You know, that could be the case. You could be just deciding to get in your vehicle and get the hell out of there. This is too much drama. It does look like a drama. It looks like you are definitely dealing with drama. Um, maybe you're going to go towards this distant friend. Maybe this distant friend contacts you and invites you somewhere. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, because this is traveling, some of you guys may be traveling. You may, and it's and you got opposition here, big time. All three of these cards, so you are going to be dealing with some opposition in these two weeks. Uh, so be prepared for that. It doesn't look like it's a lot of fun. Okay, um, a lot of pettiness, a lot of fighting, a lot of drama. Um, I don't know, you could be dealing with the Cancer, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But whatever is happening, I do see you mastering your emotions, you taking the lead, taking the leadership role. I feel like you are in that role of, uh, you know.
know. It's like, you're the boss. Okay, you're the boss. Whatever that means. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now, there's some sort of loss here. The Ace of Pentacles reverse is a loss. It's a missed opportunity. It's unplanned. It could be an unplanned loss or unplanned um, fight, you know. You could be dealing with an individual that is uh, very mouthy, very um, assertive, brash, harsh, uncaring. Um, I feel, you know, I don't know who this is, but it could, I don't know if it's an ex or if it's, if you're, if you're a male watching this, could be a wife, could be an ex-wife, um, could be a stepmother, could be a mother-in-law, um, queen of swords reversed is a nasty, this is somebody that is hypercritical, a perfectionist, uh, vindictive, malicious, so I feel like you're going to be fighting with somebody, okay? Um, somebody that is very sharp, sharp, sharp tongued, a liar, a cheat. Uh, you know, I feel like you're going to be feeling some sort of stress. You got somebody here who wants to uh, take you down. They want to take you down in some way. And I feel like you really need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself during this time. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be. Could be a water sign as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now that is a lost opportunity, unplanned, unplanned loss. It could be of something else, okay? Something you touch, something of physical nature. You could be losing something. Something could be taken away, something of value to you. Um... unforgiving energy there's somebody here that is unforgiving very very spiteful mm, page of pentacles reversed again both those pentacles reversed that's that's definitely unplanned no desire to follow through Something could be taken away. Something of financial value. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's almost like you, somebody didn't follow through or they didn't pay. They didn't pay. Now it's being taken away. You know? I don't know what it is. But, um... Lack of commitment. We have somebody here that is a slacker. They're a slacker. They're all talk. They're no action. They talk, 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 but they don't take any action. They don't. They don't follow through with any anything that they say that they're going to do. Hmm. That Ace of Pentacles reversed is, is a lack of abundance. Losing something. It's being taken away. Somebody doesn't want responsibility. They don't. They don't want any responsibility. There's there's some sort of uh, greed here as to, as well. We have a very greedy, greedy, greedy individual here that is very much, you know, they want to have all the all the money, but they don't want to work for it. You know, they just want a handout or something like that. Um, you're dealing. It's, it's almost like you're dealing with an enemy, an enemy in disguise. You got somebody here that is very, very spiteful. And you're going to, and this is strong competition for you. If somebody is going to be competing. It's like they're, they're competing. They're challenging you. Somebody is going to be challenging you. This person is very cold hearted and it's about money. Okay. It's about money or position. Okay. You're in a very tough position. They may want your position. Whoever you're dealing with is lazy. Just saying. It's not you. I don't think it's you. I think it's whoever you're dealing with. Um, they're lazy. They, they're unhealthy as well. They lack common sense. Magician. Somebody does something. They're willing to do whatever it takes to, 
to get the resources. You got a master manipulator around you. You do. This person is absolutely willing to do whatever it takes to get all the resources that they can. And they want to, it's almost like they're, they're going against you. They're working against you. You're dealing with somebody that is working against you. I feel like this is somebody that you that you've worked with in the past, okay? The Queen of Swords reversed. Whoever this person is, they are cruel. I feel like you got somebody here that is obsessed with money. You're dealing with somebody that is obsessed. They are obsessed with money. Anyhow, holding on, you are the boss, you need to take control, you need to take charge, you need to hold on, hold on to your resources, hold on to your money. You're going to be getting some sort of news, some sort of clarity, an epiphany, an awakening, a wake up call or something. Okay, you're going to be getting some sort of information that tells you that you need to hold on to your money. Okay, hold on to because this is holding on to stability. I know there's an obsession here. You're dealing with somebody that is obsessed and positive. Ace of Swords is taking a new approach. Seeing things clearly, moving, finding your discipline and your willpower. Maybe you need to save. Some of you may need to save your money. You may need to start saving your money. You may not. You may need to uh, purchase something. You know what I mean? Because it feels like you're going to lose something over here. Somebody needs to really save their money not waste their money. You may have been dealing with somebody who was dwindling your money. You know, this person has been wasting your money. You need to take action right now before you lose something of value, okay? Because it feels like you could lose something of value if you don't start saving your money. Um, you may be dealing with somebody that is very shallow, very cold-hearted, very superficial, that is competing. You know, this person competes with the world, competes with everybody, and they're all show. You know, I think that you need to be careful for that. I feel like... Uh, you are going to need to stand your ground. You're going to be dealing with some stiff competition. And, and I feel like this is some sort of serious battle. Some sort of fight. You got people. There's more than one person here for sure. There's multiple people that are fighting. They're fighting. And I feel like you are going to be seeing it very, very clearly. You're going to be seeing it very clearly. Um, what their motives are. You may be seeing what people's motives are. I feel like you are... Um, well, that chariot is moving. You're moving somewhere. You're going someplace. But it's clarity as well. So you're going to be seeing something differently. This is the sort of truth. Some sort of truth. You may be traveling, you know, you may be traveling, um, well, I think you are, you are definitely going to be traveling somewhere. This is getting a new idea that has to do with saving your money, perhaps to move. Some of you may be trying to save money to move, you know, maybe that's what you need to do. Um, Five of Wands reversed. Sorry about the noise next door. That's like, could be the exhausted. It's exhausted and fed up. Somebody's exhausted, sick of fighting. I'm so sick of it. I am. That's what it is. And I, I don't have it. I, I know I have Aries in my chart somewhere. I don't know where, but that's what I just felt. I'm so sick of fighting.
but this is the end of a conflict as well. So there, you may be dealing with some sort of, you know, it could be the end, the end of a conflict. Taking the lead, it's in being in the lead, taking a leadership position. I feel like you have an opportunity to be in a leadership position, but you have to hold on to it. To hold on to this leadership position, you are going to have to take action and fight for it. It's like you're going to have to fight for the position, whatever the hell that means. There's some sort of truth, a raw truth that is coming. Some sort of communication or information. You're going to be getting some sort of information in regards to financial stability. Okay? You're going to be getting, and it could be a new role. You could be playing a new role. Ooh, two of wands reversed. Now the two of wands reversed is, is indecisiveness. Okay? It's restrictions. It's lack of planning again. So there's some something happening that is unplanned. So there's some sort of unplanned change per se. That puts you in a place of leadership. I feel like you're going to be put in a place of leadership. You know, you may get a leadership role. I think I just said that, didn't I? Um, now there's some sort of delay here with that two of wands. There's something blocking you, blocking you. Obsession, obsess, obsession, because this is an obsession. Somebody is obsessed and it's blocking a new path. So some obsession is blocking a new path. You have a new opportunity. You, it's like you, you can see it. It's right in front of you. But maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's fear. I don't know. Maybe it's driving, you know. Maybe you need to drive. Maybe you need to get in the driver's seat. It's blocking you from success. There's a serious, there's some serious battle here that needs to end. And maybe it's, uh, I don't know, can't be playing games. It's time to get serious. You're going to be put in a very tough position this in these two weeks where you are going to have to... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's... I don't know, take care of somebody? This is exhausted, finding a solution. Somebody needs to find a, find a solution. No more fighting, stop fighting. There's fighting here. There's definitely fighting here. This is an awakening. Some sort of truth. Some sort of truth comes out. This is the new truth. This is the raw truth. There's no looking back. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. So you're going to be moving forward in a new direction. Somebody has been resisting change. They have. Blocking. Blocking. <laughs> Interesting. You know, choosing the safe route and needing to step into new territory, but choosing not to. So this is next two weeks, you are going to be presented with an opportunity, but I'm not sure you're going to take it because it looks like it's slipping away. It looks like it's going to be given to somebody else because you're not taking it. So this is a this is a huge loss right here. Something not working out. 
you even could be angry. You could be angry. It feels like there is some sort of anger here. There's some sort of opposition over a loss, you know. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you taking the position, taking the position of authority. I feel like you are... I'm going to be gaining some sort of wisdom in these next two weeks. You're going to be learning some sort of lesson by the looks of things. You're going to be getting some sort of clarity and you're going to be seeing things a little bit differently. I feel like you are uh, going to be creating something. You're, I think that you're going to be creating a new life for yourself in some way. Um, finding the strength and the confidence and the willpower. You've got a lot of strength here, a lot of willpower, a lot of growth. It's a time of growth. I think that you're you're going to be focusing on your health. You're going to be focusing on your appearance. I think that you're going to be um, taking a new approach in some way. I think you've been blocking. You've been obsessed with not changing. But in the next two weeks, something happens that it almost, it's like you get this new mindset, right? You get this new idea. You get this new idea that gets you, that gives you this new vision that makes you see that you need to step outside of your comfort zone or you need to stop fighting change or you need to really deal with opposition. You are going to be dealing with opposition this week. There's no doubt about it. You're going to be receiving communication from somebody as well. Somebody could be arriving. Okay, there could be an arrival or somebody from at a distance could be communicating with you. That's what I mean. That's the distance. Somebody that is at a distance is going to be communicating with you. I feel like this person... Um, Maybe this person has experienced a loss and that has what has sparked them to communicate with you. Maybe they were dealing with a witch, you know. Maybe they were dealing with somebody that uh, didn't value them and now they see you in a different light. You're going to be receiving communication from somebody that is at a distance, okay. It's either a fire sign or an earth sign. Could be any, it could be anybody. Um, but you're going to be receiving communication from somebody that is at a distance that is thinking of you. Okay. And maybe that's the gift. I think it's going to make you very, very, very happy. You may not even expected it. You may not have expected it to come, but this, this message is coming. Um, You need to let your guard down a little bit. I feel like you're not, you got you got your guard up. You're ready to fight at all times. And yeah, I understand that you need to stand your ground and you need to protect yourself, but I think that maybe you maybe maybe this 5 of wands is here in reverse because you need to stop fighting. You need to not fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Just just have peace. Peace. This is like peace talks. You know, go into it peacefully. And this is a new vision and this is a new approach. So just just go into it, you know, with a peaceful approach, okay? So anyway, I feel like in the next two weeks that, you know, there's going to be, there's either a sudden return or a sudden arrival, you know, or a sudden message that you, maybe this person blocked you at one point or you blocked them or, you know, there's been some sort of stalemate, there's been some sort of stagnation, there's been some sort of delay, but this is a sudden spur of the moment change. I think it's going to make you extremely happy. I think you asked for this. Maybe you've been trying to manifest this, you know, and it wasn't manifesting. And maybe it wasn't manifesting because there was another person in the way. You know, maybe it was, I don't know, maybe it was a mother or a mother-in-law or an ex or ex-wife or something and now you know I feel like that's being removed that obstacle is being removed and I feel like you you have your guard up I feel like there's a lot of tension here let it let it down let it go let it go because I feel like you're sitting pretty I feel like you're in a good position and whoever is coming in to communicate with you 
um, probably has some high hopes, okay? They have some high hopes of, you know, making peace. Good luck. 